Many Sense users are curious about the Sense installation process. This video will show you how to install Sense in an electrical panel. Please note that Sense connects to dangerous levels of voltage and should only be installed by a certified electrician. The install shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. Let's get started. If you have solar, see the description below for a link to the Sense Solar Installation Guide. You'll need a screwdriver to remove your electrical panel cover, a flashlight, and the Sense installation kit. The kit should include the Sense monitor, two current sensors, the power cable, the antenna, and the antenna assembly. If there is no room for Sense inside the electrical panel, you'll also need the external mounting kit. It's helpful to install the Sense app ahead of time. Go to sense.com slash app on your phone to download the free Sense app. Here's a mock electrical panel we put together to demonstrate. Before you begin the installation, turn off the power. Now, remove the screws securing the panel cover so that you can access the circuit breakers. Remember, even though you've turned off the power, the service mains are always live, so be careful. Look for an empty spot in the panel where you can place the sense monitor. If you can't find any space, use the external mounting bracket. Next, we'll install the antenna. The antenna needs to be outside the electrical panel, so remove a half-inch knockout from the panel. Slide the antenna insert onto the antenna extension cable, then screw on the antenna. Push the antenna and the insert through the knockout. If you have a wall-embedded panel, don't worry. The antenna functions just fine within the wall. Screw the antenna extension cable into the monitor. Next, plug the sensor cables into the outermost port of the sense monitor. The middle port is for solar sensors. Finally, plug the power cable into the power port. On to the sensors. Make sure that the labels on the two current sensors are both facing the power source. If your service mains have loops, follow the loops to make sure they're facing the same direction. Clamp the current sensors around the two main service breakers. For safety reasons, it's important that you first plug the sensor cables into the monitor and then attach them around the mains. Sense can now measure the current running through your home. Now, it's time to connect the power cable. In order to connect the power cable, your electrician will probably need to install an empty 240 volt breaker into an empty slot in your panel. Sense will work with any 240 volt breaker, but use the smallest 240 volt breaker available. The black wire and red wire should connect to the empty breaker, while the white wire connects to the neutral bus bar. Sense is now connected to power. Sense uses about four watts of electricity, less than a cell phone charger. All right, time to reattach the panel cover. Attach the cover carefully so that there is no pressure on the sensors. The clamps need to remain securely closed around the service mains. Use the Sense sticker from your install kit to label the breaker that Sense is connected to. You're almost done. Now, turn the power back on. Listen for a This means Sense is properly installed. If you hear a you should check your cable connections. If you don't hear anything, the Sense monitor can't start at all. So check that the power cable is installed properly and the breaker is turned on. Once you hear the Open your Sense app and create your account. Listen for a This lets you know your account is set up and that Sense is properly connected to your app. You're all done. Happy Sensing!